I'm Dr. Gerald Chovak. Still another option for treating men with localized prostate cancer is what we call hormone therapy. Hormone therapy means that we're going to deprive the body of the male sex hormone called testosterone. And this is described more in detail in later videos. But in general, the idea is the following, that if the cancer is growing, the hormone therapy will kill cells and slow down the growth of other cells so that men can live long enough to die of some other thing other than prostate cancer. The good thing about hormone therapy is it can avoid some of the side effects of local treatment, which are primarily problems with erections and problems with urinary incontinence. But hormone therapy is no panacea either. It does have a series of side effects, and over very long-term use, those side effects may indeed affect a man's quality of life. They can affect a man's sex drive. They can cause hot flashes. A man may gain some weight. Over many years or several years of use, there can be some thinning of the bones, so the bones have to be watched. And there's some other metabolic things that can also possibly occur, so that if men have significant heart disease, there's even a question whether it's going to have some adverse effect on their heart condition. These are controversies that are evolving over time. The most important thing to say to you is that hormone therapy is certainly a reasonable option for some men, but there's never been a good study of early stage prostate cancer to know what is the survival effect of using hormone therapy compared to using the other options. So hormone therapy may be good for older men, men that have a shorter life expectancy of maybe 10 years or less men that are not inclined to want to undertake the possibilities of having, of having problems from surgery or radiation, um, and men who want to maybe take a more conservative approach where they do no treatment initially, but later on they're going to go on and get hormone therapy. So hormone therapy does play a role for some men. It is an option. Generally for younger men and healthier men, men in their 50s and 60s and maybe even early 70s, it's not often chosen as the primary therapy. But you need to understand that it is one of the options available. It's a more conservative option. It has the pros and cons. The pros being that it may avoid the side effects of local therapy, but the cons are that it does have a series of side effects and it is unlikely to completely eliminate prostate cancer. So if you're the kind of person that says, I want to try and get rid of this cancer as most effectively as possible, hormone therapy is not going to be the optimal therapy for you. On the other hand, if you are older, less healthy, and more concerned about your quality of life and don't want to undertake the possibility of side effects from radiation or surgery, hormone therapy may be an option for you. And it's important to discuss this with your doctor when you're trying to make your decision about what to do. Thank you.